Hello everyone, hope you are well on a Sunday morning. There's so much going on in the world right now that I kind of debated on what to cover first. So there may be one more than one video today. First though, question of the day is, what are you preparing meal-wise? Are you preparing a big dinner for later today since it's Sunday? Are you doing, are you preparing food for meal prep that you will uh, use throughout the week? Please share that in the comments, but I know here uh, I am making a chicken and macaroni and cheese casserole for today. It is awesome. Uh, one of my favorite things to make, especially in the winter. It's hearty. It's comfort food. Uh, it's something that Mrs. Dog and I can stretch out over several meals, especially if we add sides to it uh, for each meal. So that's what I'm doing today. So share what you're doing on that. In the comments. I appreciate it. Topic of today, uh, I've got to cover this monkey business. Uh, lab monkeys on the loose. This apparently started uh, happening. If you hadn't heard this already, this apparently started late Friday, early Saturday morning. Uh, and it involved lab monkeys that were being transported. This happened in Pennsylvania. They were being transported to a lab. Now, there's limited information on this, probably on purpose. However, they were involved in uh, the truck carrying the monkeys were, was involved in an accident. Uh, and some of the monkeys got loose. It was their chance, I guess. I don't blame them. Get out of there. You know, this is our, this is our shot to escape. But uh, now I did read, before I go any further, I did read, uh, it's Sunday morning right now, and I saw where they story where they have all been accounted for now but for a uh, majority of this weekend they were not so this happened near danville this is pennsylvania state police had said that uh, uh, several monkeys were missing following a crash between a truck hauling a trailer and a dump truck this afternoon uh, this happened late friday into friday evening you had state troopers out there looking for them uh, with flashlights out in a wooded area. Uh, there were a hundred monkeys, okay? A hundred monkeys being transported. Uh, and this was uh, State Route 54 near Danville exit of Interstate 80 on Friday, late Friday. Said that, uh, see the state trooper said that uh, they're investigating the crash uh, and they were securing, get this, they were securing the scene for representatives from Pennsylvania Game Commission, okay? Centers for Disease Control and other agencies, quote unquote, other agencies. Okay. So the Centers for Disease Control were out there also. Uh, all right. Trooper did say, uh, State Trooper did say that the truck hauling the monkeys was on its way to a laboratory when the crash occurred. Didn't say where they came from, if they were coming from another lab or not. Be nice to know more information on this. There was also a store, a follow-up story late yesterday uh, from state authorities uh, saying, uh, advising residents of Pennsylvania, this Pennsylvania County, were warned Saturday not to approach a monkey that has been missing from a crash involving a pickup that was towing a trailer said, do not approach the monkeys. It could be dangerous. Why? No, I'm not an expert. I'm not a zoologist, but uh, had they been compromised? Am I reading too much into this? Am I off base? Let me know. What do you think? Share your thoughts on this. It's very interesting. Like I said, I did see a follow-up early this morning that that's, that stated that uh, supposedly they've all been recovered, so that's good. I hope they're safe. You know. um, anyway, also following a couple of other things, especially this Russia-Ukraine thing, sounds like we're going nowhere quick on this as far as diplomatically. Did see a report that families of uh, United States Embassy personnel are being evacuated. Other countries as well are, are evacuating their people, their families from the embassy in Ukraine. That's not a good sign. I uh, hope, uh, 
hope we gave them more time to evacuate this time and uh, to get out of there before hostilities start. Didn't happen so much uh, in the Afghanistan, did it? Well, I hope we gave them more time this time. I mean, geez, more notice. Also, it is Sunday, and I have to share a verse for a minute here. This one is from 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 58. This is a good one. It says, Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourself fully to the work of the Lord, because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. Your labor is not in vain. It may seem that way at times. Uh, stand firm. Let nothing move you. I like that. So stand firm. Do not be afraid. Do not be anxious. Keep praying. Share your thoughts on all this. Take care. Be aware if you're going out, out there this weekend. Of course, be safe. I uh, hope uh, if you've had bad weather, you didn't lose power. Uh, keep prepping. Keep stacking. God bless you. I will see you soon.